the growth story of ECD really spans over seven years, but in the simplest of numbers, the ones we kind of measure by is we've gone from having one member of staff in 2013 to 54 this morning, and we've gone from building four trucks a year in 2013 to 60 trucks a year, each one customised and one on one vehicle in 2021. The first year in 2013 was Tom where he came up with the original idea for the business, so that was really the first milestone where Tom had the vision of taking this kind of farmyard vehicle from the UK and, and selling it um, to an American audience with a fully customised um, element to it. And my idea at the time, I suppose, was to, to source classic vehicles that mainly defenders for people out here. I remember the very first, it wasn't a sale because I, I didn't sell the vehicle, but I, I had a, a, a blue truck for sale. It was a 110. It was, um, I think I had it listed for 23,000 and I had it in my garage at an apartment I was renting in uh, Davenport. And three blokes came over from Bike Week in Jacksonville at the time. And they were kind of, you know, as you'd expect, rough and ready guys. And they bought 12 grand cash with them in a bag. And they were just kind of wafting it at me saying, you know, this is all you're gonna get for it. And anyway, the deal didn't go through, but I remember thinking at the time, this isn't what I want <laughs> ECD to be. I kind of quickly went from just sourcing vehicles to customising them because America wants custom. It doesn't want kind of off a menu like we do in, in Europe. It's, it's, it's more custom. Our trucks were more simple, much more simple, um, and they would be more sympathetic restorations. So we decided that we wanted to put something in that was reliable and something that could be used every day by every member of the family. 16 was the biggest milestone. I suppose two major things happened in 16. One is we introduced the GM, GM drivetrains. We went with the LC9 to begin with, then the LS3, then the L92 for California, now the LT series. Um, and we keep um, tweaking them, adjusting them, tuning them to get more power out of them and keep advancing them for the trucks. And then we also added, uh, we, we trebled our production space that year as well. We took on a, an additional big space of about 8,000 square foot and we added uh, more production space. So 16 was fairly significant. Um, 18 um, was when we introduced the RRC. So we introduced the Range Rover Classic. And then we did the same in 19 where we added the, the Series 2A. Um, so we added the Series model to the range to kind of allow us to go back and keep that vintage kind of retro. We really refined our processes and systems by adding client services software, inventory management software, accounting software. Um, so we really did um, start to move from that small sized business to medium sized business in, in those three years. Uh, 2020 was probably one of the most significant milestones where we added um, our electric drivetrain options. So we, we um, added the Tesla drivetrains um, and that was significant really in completing our drivetrain options. I think really today it's a bit of a monster, ECD is. Um, it's certainly, it is what kind of, it's hard to say because it, you would never have envisaged this on day one, but it's kind of the direction that I envisaged. It's just obviously become a lot bigger than I ever thought it would. Um, I think now ECD is the go-to name for Defender, Range Rover, Series, anything kind of classic. ECD is the leader um, and that is where I always wanted it to be. You know, 2021 and beyond we're working on now with some, some significant um, increases in production space and some extensions to the brand to make it more regional and local and accessible to uh, potential clients and existing clients. So um, they were really the milestones that took ECD from where it was in 2013 to where we are today. Because where we are now, we, we like I said, we, we are the go-to for, for anything Defender, Range Rover or Series because of our, you know, the, the quality of what we do. Um, I think I would like to become that for anything British and classic. So be it E-Types, Astons, uh, MG even maybe. Anything kind of, you know, like I said, British classic cars. So across the board, electric, V8, I think um, we're certainly heading there and we've taken on a couple of projects recently that we obviously haven't announced yet that are going to kind of push us in that direction. But um, I think that's where we'll end up. Um, you know, we've all got a passion for cars and motors in general. So 
we're, we're kind of always looking at what we can do next and we're not just kind of limited to defenders and Range Rovers even though that's our specialty and it's what we do best I think we can easily transfer that with the team we've got especially into you know marks like the, the classic Jaguars and, and Aston Martins.